So here I've taken a picture of a landscape and I'm first going to make a small drawing uh, kind of using mark making and so on here uh, just to um, kind of see the sort of marks that we'll do for my painting and get the layout organized on here. So I'm starting with an outline of the background, foreground and middle ground and kind of the clouds in the sky. Then I'm just looking carefully at the picture and trying to translate the texture into marks. So as we've mentioned before, the foreground is going to have bigger kind of uh, mark making and texture and more detail on there. Um, so I'm uh, um, just going to work on the foreground, uh, the bigger marks and the smaller marks, uh, getting smaller in the medium ground and the kind of background just mainly a tone with kind of a hint of mark making in there. Um, so I'm just looking still at the work of Vincent van Gogh and trying to see what type of marks he used for what and how I can replicate those in a way that's adapted to my kind of landscape and building on there. So I've got a mixture of short lines, kind of curves and dots on there. I'm going to get the clouds swirling in the sky a little bit like it did on there. Now you can see the kind of background is a little bit darker too. So now I've um, kind of copied my drawing on a bigger sheet of paper and I'm going to create a painting from it. So here I've made a coloured background. Uh, just um, to kind of give a background to my painting, looking the main colour that I had in uh, those areas on here. I'm going to come back over the top and start the same mark making that I did with my drawing, but with a thin brush this time, and just try to use the very tip of my brush uh, to get my colours on. So you can see I'm mixing my colours, uh, kind of uh, green with a bit of blue mixed dark green, and a green with a bit of red is going to make a browny colour. You can always put a bit of black to make it darker on here. So I'm alternating, uh, alternate, it's just kind of changing the colour of the marks on here uh, to get the overall colour on here. So I'm looking really closely at my photo to see my type of colours can be on there. So my background is getting duller and darker on here. You can see the landscape in the background is kind of that bluey, greeny, grey on there. And then I'm going to try to put some marks in the sky as well. And I'm just looking at Vincent van Gogh's clouds and how uh, it did not kind of achieve a similar effect in my sky and some little bits of detail on here. Uh, just kind of rectifying the tone and that's it.